Hello, Hope Elam family. It's Pastor Brown. We just welcome you to this new exploration. We're going to try something a little bit different with our e-newsletters. I want to be able to speak directly to your hearts. One, if you are working through the whole Holy Bible in the year, whether you've been on point or whether you've been a little behind, it doesn't matter. Just keep going. I want to share a little bit about what stood out in this week's readings with me. It really came from Acts chapter 8, that Ethiopian eunuch. It's amazing that this eunuch was the treasurer of the queen of Ethiopia. And he had gone to Jerusalem so that he could worship. And it was, the Bible says he was sitting in his carriage when he was returning back home. And he was reading the scripture out loud. And the Holy Spirit had already given Philip the direction to go to Gaza, to Jerusalem, and then told Philip to come alongside of this Ethiopian eunuch. And when he did, he asked the question to the eunuch, do you know what you're reading? As he was reading from the book of Isaiah, and he said, well, how can I know? I don't have anyone to show me and to give me some, some help in what I'm reading. And so they sat together and they read the scripture and Philip expounded even more and opened up the scriptures to the Ethiopian eunuch. And at that moment, they had water nearby and he went and he was baptized. But I want you to know is that we can't do life by ourselves. We need other people to come alongside of us. If the Holy Spirit is giving you a nudge or a guide to go and to walk alongside and if that person needs help, be open. Help them if you can. That's what stood out for me this week. Also, keep in mind, we have a number of things coming up. It's Mother's Day coming up this weekend. Minister Bonnie is ready to give an amazing word. Focus on moms because they have eternal influence. Also, keep in mind, VBS is on the way. A lot of things are going to happen during that time. It's going to be my first experience. I can't wait. Finally, know that in June, we have a great celebration of Juneteenth coming up, and you're going to be not only very surprised, but you're going to be very pleased with what we have planned. Looking forward to staying in contact, staying in touch. In the meantime, keep reading, keep coming. We'll see you on Sunday.